Dear black people, nobody owes you shit. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Rich Love and you are tuned in to Rich Love America. So I'm just gonna jump right in. Tokyo Tony is Black China's mother. If you don't know who Black China is, the Kardashians, Rob Kardashian's baby mama, ex-stripper, entrepreneur, business owner, all of that. Um, her mom and her have had a very tumultuous relationship and she's never been shy about speaking her thoughts, her opinions, and she does not care. She just says whatever comes to her mind, regardless of the repercussions. And that is nothing different from what just came out today. I pulled from Hollywood Unlocked some footage of Tokyo Tony going in about the Britney Griner situation. Listen, and we'll go into my opinions on that after you hear what the hell this woman has to say. Swap. A spy for a basketball player to bring her raggedy ass back to America, motherfucker place she found not to be worthy enough to work at. Uh, <laughs> but they won't do nothing to find nobody's baby. They won't name one tra trafficker in Hollywood, will they? One pedophile, they won't name him, will they? Oh, God. You gave a fucking spy up for a fucking bitch that's a basketball player that knew what the fuck she was doing. You got to be kidding me. Wow. It's more to it than that. Can't figure it out yet. Ain't no way the United States of America is giving up no black bitch for a spy. You gave up this bitch for a spy. Eating motherfucking bitch for a fucking spy. Bitch that'll be scared if some niggas busting her motherfucking door for a spy. Our national security for a long haired, freckle faced red bitch that's gonna come to the United States and do nothing for nobody. We never even heard of this hoe for real. Have you ever heard of her? Oh. Um, Oh, okay. That bitch a spy. That bitch a spy. Who the fuck they playing with? That bitch a spy, shorty. Give up a spy for a spy, nigga. Who they playing with? Girl, please. Girl, please. That big nappy head motherfucker spy. Yeah, that was a lot. Can you tell she 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 don't care? She don't give no Fs. A F, okay? I want to really agree with her on the point of the traffickers because where is Ghislaine's black book? Why do we not have more information on that subject? You wanna be worried about all these other things for the clout, but you don't want to focus on things that matter to children that are being exploited in america you want to be concerned with a WNBA player that knew what the hell she was doing when she went over there you knew what you were doing and these people going to these other countries and acting like it's america it's not america and people that oh my god america is just the worst and it's so horrible and let's protest and let's burn it down and it's just oh my god oh america i'm so oppressed and then you go to another country and you like damn this is what real oppression is yeah it's kind of like that it's kind of like you didn't want to stand for the national anthem britney griner you didn't want to stand before but they went over there and got your ass how you feel about America now? Are you gonna come over here and appreciate being on American soil? Cause you could go right back to Russia and serve out your terms since America, oh my God, national anthem, I don't wanna stand. How, how, how you feeling now? You gonna come over here and act like you got some sense and appreciate being an American citizen or nah? Because you got traded for an arms dealer and apparently ain't nobody even heard of who you were prior to this baby and you know it. Who are you? Who are you for us to literally put national security at risk to save your ass that knew better when you went over there with your cartridges? 
Hello? When you go to another country, you get what you get. I do believe that's it's a little outlandish because there are people here in America that are incarcerated for very similar offenses. I think 85% of the people all up in arms and wanting her back home had no idea who she is, was. I'm glad that she's home. I know a lot of people want to come for you when you're like speaking facts and when you have your own opinion as we're all entitled to. but. It's not the fact that she's home, it's the fact of who they traded her for, okay? That is the problem that a lot of people are having and what Tony, Tokyo Tony is saying is, she is saying that she thinks that Brittany Griner's a spy. I don't have any correlation, I have not heard that or anything like that, but basically, what kind of trade was that? It's kind of what people's emotions were. It was excitement, yay, she's back home safe, but then again, for an arms dealer known as the Merchant of Death. White House has just confirmed that the United States and Russia have agreed, have agreed to a prisoner swap to free basketball star Brittany Griner. Very big news go. indeed. The two-time Olympic gold medalist for Team USA it. was released just minutes ago in exchange for convicted Russian arms dealer Victor Boot, known as the man who makes war possible. He's serving a 25-year sentence in the U.S. for conspiring to kill Americans and conspiring to sell weapons to a terrorist organization. If you don't remember what happened, Griner was detained in Russia. That didn't seem like a fair trade, especially when there are Marines that are still stuck over there in Russia. Paul Whelan is still there now to this day. And this is nothing new for Biden. He's left countless officials back in Afghanistan and all these different things that have happened that I think people seem to forget. Biden and the Biden administration basically does what's gonna get them votes, what's going to get them the most traction and get the most people to come over to the left and vote for them. They're trying to keep up appearances. Let's just take it a step further. Brittany was trending on Twitter and look at the hashtag. They didn't even spell her name right. Girl, did nobody know who you were? And a lot of people say you got brought back because you're black, you're a woman, you're bisexual, gay, lesbian. I don't know your sexual preference or what you, your pronouns or anything like that. But a lot of people are saying that's why. But I have other people that when asked how they felt about the Brittany Griner situation, they said they don't care about the swap with the arms dealer and the merchant of death because America owes black people. So that's why she needed to come home regardless how whatever they needed to do because America owes black people. Dear black people, nobody owes you shit. Not America not your parents, not anyone. You come here from dust and you will return to dust. To be here in America and have your oppression. Baby, go to North Korea and tell me about oppression. Go to China right now and tell me about oppression. Yeah, you, that, nah, you're not gonna find that here. So nobody owes you anything. You need to get up off your ass not go to Russia with illegal substances and items from America. You need to take self-responsibility. You owe yourself. That's who owes you. You owe you. But America don't owe you shit. As far as to Tokyo Tony, sis had a lot of things to say. I didn't agree with all of them. I didn't agree with all of them. But baby girl, Brittany, be glad to be home and be thankful that you are an American. Because, baby, you could have still been in Russia. So when that national anthem plays and, and, and you don't stand, you can take your ass right back to Russia. Become a citizen over there behind bars. How about that? Until next time, I will see you. Stay free, patriots.